Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So it's been a while since I've done a new installment of the All About series where I really focus in on a type of product or a product for a particular part of your body or your face and really kind of give you my in-depth thoughts about that type of product. So I thought today I would do an All About hair care video. So this is going to be talking about non-toxic, cruelty-free hair care. So we're going to be covering things like shampoo, conditioner, but also products like dry shampoo, um, texturizing sprays, all of that. So if that sounds interesting to you, um, stay tuned and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to start off by giving you a little bit of information about my hair type. So I have very oily hair. I have very oily skin and it also translates to me having very oily hair. So really within a day of washing my hair, my hair does get really oily. I only wash my hair every two to three days, somewhere around there. I found for me that if I wash my hair even more often, even though it is oily, it just causes my hair to get oilier even faster. So it just like accelerates the process of building up oil in my hair. And so what I will do to extend my hairstyles are, is to use dry shampoo. So on the second and third day, I will use dry shampoo instead of actually washing my hair. My hair is also very thick. I have a lot of hair on my head. Like, um, it's short now, so it's hard to see, but like, um, there's just like, I'm grabbing it up here and you can just see that there's like a lot of hair there. So like when I put it up in like a ponytail or a bun, there's just a lot of hair that I'm dealing with. Also, my hair is, um, more straight than wavy. Like this is my hair. I let it air dry and I straightened it a bit. Right now for my hair being this length, that's kind of my typical styling procedure. When I let it air dry, it has some waves in it, but it's not like super wavy. I can straighten my hair and kind of get the waves to be more straight, or I can use something like a texturizing spray to really accentuate the waves. So my hair can kind of go either way. First, I'm going to start off by talking about shampoo and conditioner. And for a long time, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I really love the Desert Essence shampoos and conditioners. And part of why I really love these is they're affordable. They are drugstore priced shampoo and conditioners and they work really well. I've had issues with a lot of different shampoos and conditioners just not getting my hair clean because I need a shampoo that's going to get all that oil out of my hair, also get all the dry shampoo out of my hair. So it's gotta do a lot of work and it needs to do it well. And also I like these because they suds up really well. A lot of more non-toxic shampoos don't suds that much, so they don't have sudsing agents. And even though that can be like better for your hair, at least for me, I feel like I really need that sudsing property to actually feel like my hair is getting clean. So the Desert Essence shampoos definitely do that. Um, I really like this one here. This is the Desert Essence Smoothing Shampoo. Um, it contains apple cider vinegar, which is very good for your hair. The accompanying conditioner also contains apple cider vinegar. I also really like the Lemon Tea Tree Shampoo. That's more of a clarifying shampoo. That one works very well. And these are kind of my staple shampoos. I'll try other ones in and out of rotation, but especially because of the price point and how well they work, I really tend to reach for them again and again. And this conditioner is very conditioning. Like if you need serious conditioning in your hair, this will definitely do the trick. Even though my roots are pretty oily, my ends can get a bit dry, especially when I use heat styling and I have been straightening my hair a lot. So I really do like using this conditioner as well. So if you're just looking for something affordable, effective, I 100% recommend the combination of the Desert Essence um, shampoo and conditioner. And they have a whole bunch of different scents with like different properties. So depending on what you're looking for, you can really find a shampoo and conditioner from Desert Essence that will really suit your needs. Recently, I got in a Beauty Heroes box, the True Botanicals Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. And um, I had been using my Desert Essence. This is really, the most high-end shampoo and conditioner from Green and Eco Beauty that I've been using. And I really like the shampoo. The shampoo definitely does work very well. Um, it's not as sudsy though as the Desert Essence. So like I said, if you really want that sudsing action, go for the Desert Essence. But this one has done an incredible job of really getting my hair clean. I mentioned this previously, but I think my hair was getting a little bit too used to the Desert Essence shampoo and conditioner. And it's always good to switch up your hair care because sometimes your hair will kind of get 
used to certain shampoos and conditioners and then they won't be as effective but if you kind of rotate your products around you can keep products being effective so i'm kind of glad to be able to switch up using the desert essence shampoo with this one so i really like these these are a higher price point but they definitely have a salon like scent to them so if you're looking for that salon quality these definitely will give you that i mean you aren't getting that with the desert essence but you're also getting more affordable products so it's kind of a trade-off there but I really do like the shampoo. The conditioner though is not as conditioning as the Desert Essence, which is kind of surprising given the, given the higher price point. But it's, it does do a good job and it doesn't weigh down your hair. My hands can get a little bit dry, but like I overall don't have that dry of hair. So the conditioner does work well for me, especially during the summer because the last thing I want is with all this heat and humidity is to really have my hair like weighed down with a heavy conditioner. But if you do need something super conditioning, I wouldn't recommend this conditioner. I've been enjoying it. I, the combination works really well for me. I love the scent. I love the experience. I love how um, they perform, particularly the shampoo. I do like the shampoo like better than the conditioner because even for me, if the conditioner was a little bit more conditioning, that would be better. But um, I can get it to work. I have to use like more of the conditioner from True Botanicals than I do of a Desert Essence conditioner to really condition my hair. But overall, if you're looking for something like a little bit more salon quality, these are definitely worth checking out. We've been talking about shampoos and conditioners. Let's move on to talking about dry shampoos. So the first one I'm going to mention has been a ride or die for me for so long. And this is the Coco Lavish dry shampoo. And this is from an Etsy shop, Coco Lavish. It's a really incredible, um, you know, non-toxic, natural, cruelty-free Etsy shop. I love a lot of the Coco Lavish products. One of my favorites is this dry shampoo. And one of the amazing things about it is it comes in different like colors. So I have the one for brunette hair. They also have one for blonde hair. So they're tinted. So you don't get a white cast. Like I don't get a white cast when I use this, which for me is pretty incredible because my hair is fairly dark. And if I use a traditional like white dry shampoo, I will get a white cast. It also has a lovely scent. It contains um, its cocoa powder and also has some essential oils. So I find it to be very scent refreshing as well. So if you're worried about your hair smelling bad, this will definitely give you a scent refresh. And it does an amazing job of absorbing oil. Like it really does absorb up oil in your hair. So if you're worried about that at all, this will definitely um, work for you. The thing I also liked about this as well is having that blonde shampoo with some tint as well. It's not as darkly tinted as the brunette version, but I used to bleach my hair blonde. And even when I would use dry shampoos with my hair being blonde, they were white. They could still white cast my hair a bit. So I appreciate that the blonde version of this dry shampoo also has tint. If you're looking for a dry shampoo that really absorbs oil well and really works, definitely check out the Coco Lavish dry shampoo. It's been one of my favorites for quite a while now. And I know you guys are curious about this because I posted on Instagram that I picked this up. And this is the Kaya Naturals um, Takasumi Detox Overnight Dry Shampoo. And I love Kaya Naturals. I use their um, deodorant. I use their deodorizing bar in the shower. Like I really do enjoy their products. I have mixed feelings about this dry shampoo and I'm gonna explain to you why. That is what I've been using in my hair. I've been testing it out for about a month um, or so now. And one of the things is I have used a lot of the product up already. I have to use a lot of product to get the oil absorbed in my hair. And this is an expensive product. Like this is like, two to three times the price of the Coco Lavish dry shampoo. So there's that. Um, and this dry shampoo you're supposed to apply in your hair at night. I've never really done that with a dry shampoo before. So that's my first time trying that out. And when I do apply it in my hair at night, um, it does help with the oil production, but I definitely still have to apply more in the morning. Like for me, my hair is so oily that just applying this dry shampoo at night doesn't cut it. Um, but what I do like about it is it gives my hair volume, like the, I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of like more gritty. Whereas I don't get any additional volume from using the, uh, Coco Lavish dry shampoo. Do, which one do I find more oil absorbing? Definitely the Coco Lavish dry shampoo. Like this one is good, but not quite as good as the Coco Lavish in terms of absorbing oil. Also, this is tinted, but it's not as tinted as the Coco Lavish. So if I'm not careful, I can actually get a white cast with this even though I have the brunette edition. So it's definitely something you have to work with. And it has this non aerosol pump where you like shake it and then you actually like spray the um, dry shampoo out. Whereas the 
Coco Lavish is more like a salt and pepper shaker where you just like shake it out. This takes a little while to get used to. Like sometimes it works better than others. Like sometimes it pumps out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, both application methods I find to be messy. So the dispenser for both the Kai Naturals and the Coco Lavish are both messy. Like I will get dry shampooed, like not just on my hair, but also on my face, sometimes on my clothes, sometimes on the floor. Like they are both messy. So this does not eliminate the mess. This also does give you a scent refresh in your hair as well. So they both do that. I think if you have less oily hair than I do, like if you just need like a little bit of dry shampoo, like I think this could work excellently. But for me, because of how oily my hair is, I'm like burning through this product and it's really expensive. I do like the volume aspect of it. I really do like it giving back volume to my hair. It's got a learning curve to it and it's not a product that I just love. Like it's okay, but it's hard for me for the price to justify it. I feel like I need a bigger bottle for the price is I guess what I'm saying. I think it's a little bit overpriced for how little you actually get in here. Cause this is 25 grams. 0.8 ounces and I like I said I am moving through this product I am kind of burning through it rather quickly um, let me know if you've tried it um, and what your thoughts are on it but so far it's just kind of hmm, for me this next product I got in a petty more box and I wasn't expecting to love it but I really do and this is the feed your ends um, leave-in conditioner from your oak I really like this I had never really been a fan of like leave-in conditioners or um, like hair mask treatments. Like I just, I don't know. I didn't like find they do much for me, but this one I like, cause you actually spray it in your hair. Like once you get out of the shower, um, you can even do it on your hair when it's dry. It's marketed as being a heat protectant. Yeah. If my hair is just looking a little dry and I just want to give it like a little bit more, um, conditioning, I will apply this just to like the ends of my hair and it really does help to get them kind of more conditioned and more moisturized. So I really like this and I've been, you know, working my way through the sample size, but when I'm finished with the sample size, I'm definitely interested in purchasing the full size of it because for someone like me with oily roots, but like drier ends, it's really nice because I can target this product like directly on my ends where I need it. And it's even something like if on the second or third day in between washes that your ends are starting to look dry, you could use it then. Like you, it's a good product. I find it very useful and very effective. I don't know if it actually works as a key protectant. I've kind of questioned that the whole time because I'm not sure ingredient wise what in this product would act as a heat protectant, but it does work excellently as a leave-in conditioner. So if you're looking for that kind of product, this is definitely a solid choice. And I normally don't like products like that. So the fact that I actually like this, I think is a testament to, you know, how good it is. Okay, the final two products I am going to talk about are both texturizing sprays. And they're both from the kind of Captain Blankenship line. One is from the actual Captain Blankenship line, and one is from the Sailor line, which is available at Target. So it's kind of like a special Target version of Captain Blankenship. And the one here I have is the Captain Blankenship Sea Salt Shimmer um, Spray. And this is not only a texturizing spray, but it also, as you can see, it's like up this beautiful gold color. And so it's going to add some shimmer to your hair. I heard a number of people like this product better than the Sea Salt or Fresh Hairspray from Sailor. I like the Sailor one better. Given my hair type, I... My hair is a little wavy, but not that wavy. So for me, this one doesn't quite give me enough like grip and stick. Like if I need, if I'm going to get texture going in it, I have to have a pretty heavy duty texturizing spray. It's always been that way for me. And the other thing I'm not entirely sure I like about it is actually like the shimmer in it. And I get the point of it. So that like when your hair gets in the sun, it'll shimmer. But here's the thing is with my dark hair, I don't really see it. Like it doesn't show up that well. And then if you like run your hands through your hair, like while you're styling it or whatever, you will get glitter all over your hands, which that I don't love. Like that's kind of where I had a problem with this product. Like I don't like glitter coming off on things. So it works and it does give me texture, but for me, I would just rather purchase this. And this is more affordable. Like this is the travel size or like tester size of the Golden Waves Cecil um, Shimmer Spray. And this is the full size of the Cecil hairspray from Sailor. I believe this was like $15, $16 at Target. And I can't remember how much this, the full size of this is, but I know that the one from Sailor is more affordable. And this one definitely does give a lot of grit and a lot of um, kind of stickiness to your hair. 
but for me that's like what i need to hold texture so if you know your hair type and you need a heavy duty um, texturizing spray then this definitely will do it for you what i like to do and what works the best for me is to spray this in my hair and then actually braid my hair at night and sleep with my hair kind of damp and a braid with this in and that will give me really nice waves that are really long lasting um, when i spray this in my hair without braiding it it works pretty well you have to be careful though. I found for me, it doesn't work if I spray this in my hair when it's still damp and I don't braid it. Um, I get better results if I spray it in my hair when it's like dry and not braided, um, when it's wet and it just, I don't know, it just didn't work and I ended up with too much product in my hair. Then my hair got kind of weighed down and looked kind of clumpy. But when I spray this in my hair, with, when it's dry, this does work a lot better and it does give me some waves and some texture. So, and this also has a really nice scent. It's a um, lemongrass scent, and I don't know, I really like it. It's unusual for a hair care product, but it's really refreshing as well. So for me, out of the two texturizing sprays, I would go for Sailor, but if you don't want something that kind of sticky, salty, that intense of a texturizing spray, this one does work well. It just, I have warned you about the glitter in it, so that's just something to think about. I think they may have a version without glitter, could be wrong about this. I suspect they might. Hopefully me telling you about my hair care products and kind of like what I like to use and what are some of my favorites is helpful for you guys. I'm always curious about new hair care products. If you have any suggestions for me, leave those in the comment section down below. Let me know what some of your favorite hair care products are. Also, I should mention that you didn't see a hairspray in those products and I don't style my hair in a way where I need hairspray very often. And when I do, I just use a conventional hairspray, which I know is not great, but like it is on rare occasions when I actually use a hairspray. And the way my hair is like, I need the heaviest duty like hairsprays. It's always been that way my entire life. Like my hair does not like to hold curl that well unless I use a lot of hairspray. So for me, if I'm going to go through the process of curling my hair, I, would rather on those rare occasions just use a conventional hairspray and really have my hair hold instead of trying to mess around with a hairspray that might not work as well and then cause my curls to fall out. So that is my disclaimer. That is like one of the few conventional products I have refused to give up because I don't use it very often. It's on rare occasions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did and you want to see more of the series, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified of when I post new videos on YouTube because I think you would want to know when I post new videos. And um, also be sure to check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I'm at Naturally Beautiful Girl. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.